Today's color review is Benjamin Moore French Canvas. It's a beautiful paint color. I've used it a lot over the years, in particular coastal homes, cottages, and historical homes, just to name a few. And by the way, it was one of my subscribers that requested that I do a color review of Benjamin Moore French Canvas. I highly encourage all of you, if this is the first time you're watching this video, it doesn't matter if it's six months, a year, or five years down the road, let me know in the comment section right down below if there's a paint color that you would like me to do a future color review. I wanna hear from you. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the undertones of Benjamin Moore French Canvas by comparing it with some contrasting paint colors so that you can see the undertones of French canvas. And next, I'm gonna compare it with some other interior paint colors to help give you an idea of what makes this paint color so unique. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips on how to pair trim paint colors with Benjamin Moore French canvas and why lighting is gonna play a key role on how French canvas could look like in your home. All right, let's talk about the undertones of French canvas. Wow. So the first thing I want you to know about Benjamin Moore French canvas is that it's a complex neutral and the undertone is a green beige grayish. And I'm gonna prove it to you by comparing it with two other contrasting paint colors so that you can see the undertones yourself. So watch this. When I selected this warm gray called Rockport Gray by Benjamin Moore, which is considered a green gray, watch this. When you compare Rockport Gray with Benjamin Moore French Canvas, you can instantly see the beige come out of French Canvas, and that's really important. But watch what happens when I compare this with Monroe Besque by Benjamin Moore, which is considered a yellow beige. Watch this. So when you compare Monroe Besque with French canvas, you're gonna notice two things. Number one, you're gonna see the green undertone of Benjamin Moore French canvas. And if you look carefully, you're also gonna see a little bit of that gray in French canvas. So this is what makes Benjamin Moore French canvas a green beige grayish. Next, I'm gonna compare Benjamin Moore French canvas with some other neutrals to help give you an idea of where it sits in the worlds of colors and what makes Benjamin Moore French canvas so unique. Now I wanna show you what makes Benjamin Moore French canvas so unique, and the only way I can explain this is by comparing it with other interior paint colors that are similar to Benjamin Moore French canvas. So watch what happens when I compare this with a paint color called Feather Down by Benjamin Moore. It too is considered a green beige grayish, but there's a big difference. Watch this. When you compare Feather Down with French Canvas, you're gonna instantly see how Feather Down is warmer than French Canvas. You're also gonna notice how French Canvas is cooler than Feather Down. And notice how Feather Down, it looks more like that yellow green beige in comparison to French Canvas, where it looks more or leans more of that green beige gray. That's really important. But watch what happens when I compare it with another paint color called Ballet White. Now what makes Ballet White a little bit different, a little bit unique, is just a grayish. So it's a mix of a beige, just a little bit of a gray without any green undertones. Watch what happens when I compare Ballet White with Benjamin Moore French Canvas. This is really interesting. So this is where you're gonna see how French canvas, it looks a little bit more like a beige in comparison to ballet white, but notice how ballet white is lighter than French canvas. French canvas is darker than ballet white, but again, notice how ballet white is warmer. It looks more of that yellow beige, if you will, in comparison to French canvas, but notice how French canvas leans more of that, that green beige and you have that gray to it. So there's another neutral that I wanna compare this to and it's called Tapestry Beige by Benjamin Moore. It too is a green beige grayish and this is really interesting. Watch this. When you compare Tapestry Beige with French canvas, look what just happened here. A couple of things. Number one, you're gonna know how Tapestry Beige is warmer than French canvas. But notice how French canvas, you see more of that beige in French canvas, but again, you see that green beige gray in comparison to Tapestry Beige, it looks more like a beige. 
Also, notice how French canvas is cooler than tapestry beige. So what makes French canvas so unique is that it tends to lean more on the cool side. Also, it has a tendency of showing a little bit more of that green with a little bit of a gray, but you still have the beige. So it's warm, but yet it leans on the cool side. And it's really important that you compare this correctly with the fixed elements that you may have in your home. And like I always say, get a paint sample or make your own paint sample and compare it with a different type of fixed elements and interior decor that you have and don't forget about lighting because this is really going to react differently in terms of lighting and I'm going to talk about that in a second but for those of you that want to get it right the first time and you just want to avoid from making a costly mistake then I highly encourage you go to my website I can help you both in interior and exterior without ever stepping a foot in your home. And feel free to read the reviews, see what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips that you need to know about Benjamin Moore French canvas. So the first tip I wanna share with you are trims in regards to comparing it with Benjamin Moore French canvas. And you'll probably notice if you watched a lot of my videos, you never hear me talk about this trim paint color pairs well with this paint color or this wall paint color pairs well with this paint color. The reason why I never say that is because you've got to be mindful of the type of fixed elements that you might have in your home and lighting and the interior decor. So it's really easy just to say this color pairs well with this. Anybody can do that. So that's why you never hear me talk about that. But for those of you that are thinking about French canvas and you're looking for the perfect trim paint color, there's a couple things I want you to look at. I want you to pay close attention to your kitchen countertops. Are they cream? Are they warm off whites? What are they? And then pay close attention to the type of flooring that you have. And don't forget about your window treatments. And especially for those of you that have shutters, the question is, do you have warm shutters? Are they a warm off white? Are they a true white? Or do you have cream shutters? For example, if you have a light cream shutter, then you might want to try Benjamin Moore Mars Capone. And you'll notice when I compare Benjamin Moore Mars Capone with Benjamin Moore French Canvas, it, you see that warmth, that light cream, that yellow. And what it does, it contrasts with that green beige, grayish in French Canvas. This is really beautiful, especially in a coastal home. So that's why you gotta pay really close attention to what you have in your home. Be careful what you read out there online. Anyone can say that this is the perfect warm off white or this is the perfect cream. The second tip that I want you to know about when it comes to French canvas is lighting. This is so important. So for those of you that have south facing rooms or any room that receives a lot of natural lighting, then French canvas is gonna invoke that warm, airy, inviting ambiance. But at the same time, it's gonna lean a little bit cool because it leans a little bit more of that green, beige, grayish side of paint colors. But if you have a north facing room or any space that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, then don't be surprised if it looks a little bit more green and sometimes it can look a little bit dingy. So this is why it's so important. You've got to compare Benjamin Moore French canvas with the different type of fixed elements that you may have in your home. Thank you for watching. And please, if you found this video helpful, Put a like, let me know. Until then, I will see you in the next video.